It's no good. I definitely won't need this. I'll never transform again, and I've ruined the plan. Maybe something just came loose. Want me to check under your dash? Just tell me if you see green spots. Oh, or red ones, but not blue. If you see blue spots, I don't even want to know. We need to get out of sight. Good luck, Doc. You'll have to make some excuse about the fifth dino. Optimus, I'm sure you'll bring everyone back safe and sound. You have my word. Blades, hide! Quarry's here. Uh, who turned out the lights? Stand still and try to look more Terra whatever-ish. But Heat Wave, it's too late. I can't get out without being seen. Don't worry, I'll climb out after they leave. Quarry, where is Professor Baranova? You promised you'd bring her and my dad, my lab, back. And you promised me five dino bots. What's wrong with this one? It's, uh, unfinished, but nearly complete, I, I promise. Do you now? Good. You're coming along, Dr. Green. You can finish it on my island. Once you're done, I'll return your colleague and your floating lab. Two drones, prepare for takeoff! Go along. We better get back to the firehouse. Cody, I want you to. Where's Cody? Wasn't he with you? He climbed into Blades for a minute, but I thought he. Oh no. Cody. Amber Drone, stop those beautiful beasts before they tear each other apart. Load everything up, boys, and take them to the dock. <laughs> Once they're shipped off, I'll talk to Doc Green and reevaluate the terms of his release. We did it. Nice work, Prof. Anna. Now let's get off this wretched island and get back home. Could be Quarry. This way. These goggles are a bit primitive, but I'm reading two heat signatures inside this shed. It must be Frankie and Anna. <gasps> Dad, you're here! Not now, Frankie. I have to deactivate this security system to rescue Frankie and... Oh, you're here too. <laughs> How did you two escape? Cause we're awesome. And exponentially awesomer when we work together. Noble! Now let's go tell... I mean, find the dinos. This is bad. It appears the larger drone has trapped the dinos in some kind of stasis field. Can one of you pilot the helicopter bot? We could knock that drone out easily from the air. Um, the helicopter bot can't fly. I don't understand. What good is a flying robot that can't fly? No, I mean, it can. He just needs some repairs. No. She's right. I should be doing what I meant to do. I'm going. What on earth? He's sentient? Mm, come on. Come on. Fly! <laughs> see any trouble spots everyone is just looking not much need for crowd control then let's head home everyone is 
Danny here yet? She's taking me back out with her. On her way. Someone want to tell me why looking for a ship off our coast has this whole town mesmerized? Nobody's told you the legend yet? Well, we figured Danny was the best one to fill them in. Right, boys? Oh, yeah. She's the shipper in the family. Shipper? Someone who gets all... <coughs> about seeing a ship that's probably not even real. I think he means romantic. You know, mushy stuff. Are we talking about the same Danny who took first place in the recent burping tournament? Girl didn't even train for it. Hold the elevator! <sighs> Forgot my camera. Coming, Cody? Yeah, but the bots want to ask you about later. Up, up, up! Someone please talk sense into Danny. She's acting very, very... E? Yes! She wants to hover over the ocean for hours, hoping to spot the ship everyone's looking for. It'll be fun, Blades. And we can meet up with Doc and Frankie. They're out there, too. See anything, Frankie? It's getting too foggy, Dad. The ship's appearance has never been proven scientifically. But this year, I'm prepared. Hmm. So far, nothing on radar, thermal scanners, or the EMF meter. Wait, I'm picking up some kind of energy fluctuation. Frankie, something very large has suddenly appeared out there. And it's sending a distress signal. Do you have a visual? <gasps> Daddy, it's the Phantom Voyager. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's made of a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human servant. Okay, let's get going. Um, afraid Blades is on strike. At least until someone explains why seeing this ship is worth frosting up my windows. Everybody seems to know but us. We're told you are the authority on the matter. No ship is worth all this fuss. <sighs> it's only the most tragically romantic story of the century. Okay, real quick. It's the SS Phantom Voyager an ocean liner that was left to drift in 1915 after a lightning strike disabled the engines. Everyone got off except the captain, Ansel Ambrose. He remained on board until help could arrive, but then, without warning, the ship mysteriously vanished. And on this night, every 10 years, the Phantom reappears somewhere off the west side of the island. The only thing worse than waiting in the cold to see that ship would be seeing that ship. Tell them the Griffin Rock connection. You'll have to finish story time later. Vehicle modes. Doc and Frankie think they've spotted the Phantom. And they've received an SOS. It's releasing. It seems vaguely familiar. <gasps> Cody, somebody is on board. Where are you guys? Almost there, Frankie. I still don't see it. Relax, Danny. It's probably just some freighter. It's probably always just some freighter. One can only hope. Who knows? Plenty of witnesses claim they've seen the Phantom, but sometimes people only see what they want to see. So what's this connection to our island you were talking about? Captain Ambrose was supposed to get married to a girl from Griffin Rock. Oh, Lillian waited for him. Every 10 years, she would see the ship appear, just for a few moments. What a horrible story. Yet, <laughs> tragically romantic. Hurry! It could disappear any minute! That's no freighter. 
Nope. I knew it. Noble. Nice job, Frankie. Ha, I know, right? I've waited my whole life to see this. And you've never been good at waiting. Chief, there's still an SOS. Blades, Danny, do a flyover. Okay, seriously, can we please get another flying rescue bot? Let me in, Blades, or I'll dismantle you here and now. Uh, I can be another set of eyes. Well, all right. But stay in the air, Danny. Don't take any chances. We're hovering over the deck, but no sign of anyone. This ship still looks brand new. Wait, there's movement. Someone threw a rope at us! I'm snagged! I can't! Get up there, fast! Come on, move it! Let's go! Power up, and energize! Danny, do you read? Cody! Guys, over here! This direction! What is happening up there? Energy is spiking again. I think the Phantom is about to vanish. Get off the ship, now! We have to get out of here. Uh, almost done. Where's your attacker? I don't know. I couldn't really see. It has to be Captain Ambrose. Except that would be impossible. So is standing on the Phantom, but here we are. Oh, how I wish we weren't. Hurry! into the fog. And why is everything so quiet? I don't even hear the ocean. Dad? Frankie? Doc! Oh no! Where'd everyone go? Where'd we go? Should I try flying for help? To where, Blades? Who knows where we are? However, if the pattern remains unchanged, I believe I know when we will return. You mean... In ten years? We can fix this, right? There must be a logical reason this ship keeps coming and going. Maybe whoever tried to snag us knows the answer. Then we search this tub top to bottom. Then we'll take the top. You guys will only fit in the surface floors below. Take the freight elevator, it's port side. Who knows their phantom trivia? <laughs> Do you guys see that? Neither did I. Blades? When you three are running for your lives, you'll need someone holding the elevator. And if we happen to be chasing the ghost of Captain Ambrose? Right. Safety in numbers. The dining hall should be right here. Oh, amazing. Just like the old pictures. There's still food in here. Captain Ambrose and the passengers were preparing for dinner when the lightning struck. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it sure does. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Warm. That's a hundred years old. Still tastes better than Danny's cooking. Captain Ambrose? Is that you? Let me guess, protecting the rear? Yes. It's the least we could do? We're here for you, Danny. This way, my brave bodyguards. This search may take a while. Split up. We hit every aisle. Split up? Have you learned nothing from scary movies?
Nothing here. I can't see anything. Fascinating. Done. What's taking you guys so... Ah! You ghost! Was it Ambrose? Please provide a full description. I don't see anything. It, I, there, uh, not. Ah! This way. Dead end. Apparently because it is a trap. Is that music from beyond? If we find ghosts waltzing, I'm jumping overboard. I've waylaid your giant iron men in the hold. Therefore, your attempt to take over my ship has failed. What? We don't want your stinking ghost ship. Captain Ambrose, we're rescuers. We, we heard a distress call and... What country sent you? Who builds machines that talk like people and aircraft that fly without wings? We're from Griffin Rock. Impossible. My beloved lives there. Nothing like this exists on that island. A lot has changed. You and this ship have been lost at sea for a century. Evacuations were completed a day ago. I await the towing barges. The barges came. The SS Phantom was nowhere to be found. No, no, I've seen Griffin Rock in the distance yonder. It appears through the fog every hour. But each time we see the Phantom from the island, 10 whole years have gone by. I hear the ocean. We're back! There, Griffin Rock. No, wait! This guy locked us up in the cargo hold. It's Captain Ambrose. He's just... Confused. Ambrose, he doesn't look like a ghost. He isn't. Then shouldn't he be, like, really old? Somehow ten years out there is only an hour on this ship. But we have been here an hour. Then that would mean... No way. It can't be. Save the reunion for later. That ferry's going down. You heard the chief. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! This really is the future? Yes, and this is what we do. Hop in. at all. Lillian never forgot you. It's been a long 
ten years. Oh, Dad. And five more minutes before the ship disappears again. Frankie, you got big. <laughs> it just happened. You were right, Cody. I've never been good at waiting. I missed you. I had to grow up without my best friend. Sorry we weren't there for you, Chief. Feels like we abandoned our post. I trust you found... suitable replacement vehicles? There's no replacing you guys. Dad? This is Captain Ambrose. And good news! He's not a ghost. Mr. Burns, I wish I had some answers. Fortunately, we do. From the data Doc collected ten years ago. The energy pattern emitted by this ship is the same found in the old time machine that used to be under my lap. Time machine? That could be what I saw down in the hold. Somebody must have been transporting one on the Phantom. One minute left. We need to go. Come home. It'll be an adjustment, but at least we'll all be together. Dad, if a time machine did this, then we can reverse it. And return to where we started. Where we all started. Let us try, Dad. Please? All right. I'll be back. It belonged to a passenger named Dr. Thaddeus Morocco. Now this makes sense. You know of him? Too well. For one, he built the time machine on Griffin Rock. Okay, but what made this one malfunction? Perhaps it was the lightning strike that hit the Phantom? I think you're right. And the jolt froze up the controls, too. So the machine is stuck on a setting that makes it skip ahead ten years at a time. But why does it feel like only an hour to us? Because of the damage to the machine. On this ship, we're zipping through time, stopping briefly every ten years. But outside, time is passing normally. Uh, yeah, has there been a solution mentioned anywhere, or should I go back to not listening? A power boost. That's how we got the old time machine in the lab to work. Using Energon. Still have an emergency supply? Not very much. I knew I should have restocked. Let's hope it's enough. More purple. That's good, right? That means the power is stabilized. And the controls are working. Now we turn the dial back to the previous 10-year mark. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Turn the dial ten more notches back. I can't promise anything, but that should take you home. My Lillian is waiting for me. And that's worth any risk. Uh, Captain, might not want to tell anybody what really happened. Not sure they'd believe you anyway. Agreed, young man. But it is nice to know that the future is in such good hands. Now go. And thank you. Here they come! Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie? What happened? 
Yeah, we lost track of you for a moment or two. What did you find? We found Captain Ambrose, and hopefully we rescued him. What's the emergency? Call? Bring the alarm. Where are we going? Allow me the pleasure of announcing the wedding of Ansel and Lillian Ambrose in 1915. He made it. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I was, you know, just practicing for the next burping tournament. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Bring it on. How do you do?